mami, ya se veo. Que se boom, 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 no vuelve para se veo. Some metals can react with water, acid or oxygen. The word equation for a metal reacting with acids is metal plus acid produces a metal salt plus hydrogen gas. The reactivity series is a list of metals which start from the most reactive to the least reactive. Lead and above react with acids. Carboxylic acids are weak acids which can react with metals to produce salts. To name the surname of the salt, so that's the second part of the name, we remove the oic from the acid and we change that to oate. So if we had methanoic acid, the surname of the salt would be methanoate. If we had ethanoic acid, the surname of the salt would be ethanoate. And if we had propanoic acid, the surname of the salt would be propanoate. So let's have a go at um, writing the name of the salt for this first example. If we have potassium plus methanoic acid, the name of the salt would be potassium methanoate. If we were to react calcium with ethanoic acid, we would end up with calcium ethanoate. This third example, we have lithium plus pentanoic acid and the salt produced this time would be lithium pentanoate. So here are three examples for you to have a go at. If you want to pause the video, once you're ready, you can press resume and the names of the salts will pop up on the right hand side. This past paper questions from the National 5, 2019, written 11b. Name the acid used to prepare calcium propanoate. Remember, the second part of the name comes from the acid. So we're looking at the propanoate. We take off the oate and change it to oic acid. So the name of the acid was propanoic acid. This past paper questions from the Intermediate 2, 2012, multiple choice 14. The structure of citric acid is given. How many moles of sodium hydroxide would be required to exactly neutralise one mole of citric acid? So if we look at the diagram of citric acid, we know it's uh, acidic, so we're looking for the carboxyl group. On the right hand side, we can see that we've got three carboxyl groups and we know that acids react with bases. If we've got three acid groups, how many bases can react? That would be three. So the correct answer to this question is multiple choice answer C.